Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward, hey and we are in the lounge today with two of the stars from Dear Lemon Lima. I got that right. You better believe it. Vanessa Morano <laughs> and Shane Top are in the studio. I got hey the name right. Yes, you How's did. Going? Yeah, it's not Lima. No, Lima. Not Lima. Lima. It's Lima. It's very like important. Lemon lime. Yes. Lemon lime. That's what you said. <laughs> yes. I'm it's, just it's like Sprite. It's like a Sprite. <laughs> yes. So Lemon let's, lime let's flavor. Let's jump right in and find out what is this movie about? Tell the people. Dear Lemon Lima is about a girl named Vanessa, played by an actress named Savannah Wiltfong, uh, who is in love with a boy named Philip Georgie, played by Shane Top. Yes. And he breaks her heart because he's a jerk. And yes. <laughs> the whole movie is about her finding herself, uh, still being in love with him. And she befriends a, uh, a team of... Misfits, pretty much. Losers. Yeah. They're losers. I would be one of those losers. Uh, <laughs> And they, some, <laughs> they, yeah. they form an unlikely friendship and by the end of the movie end up entering into the uh, Eskimo Olympics that their school does. And they, uh, they're, they're all not athletes at all and they end up winning and eating Shane's character. Yeah, well, way to Shaming give it all him. away. I, yeah, I didn't give it. <laughs> oh I didn't give it all away. I wanted we them don't to, know what I wanted happens them to, in the Eskimo I wanted them to, Olympics. I wanted yeah, them we to, don't know. Hey, you made that's just the plot of the movie. A lot of other stuff happens. There's so many twists. There's so it's, many it's places that you go to, <laughs> and, and it's a comedy. Obviously. It is a comedy. It's definitely it's a, it's a lot of dry humor and a lot of crazy humor. Uh, but uh, it's pretty much. I had somebody who saw it say that if you are or have ever been a teenage girl, you will love this film. Pretty much. What about for the guys? Wow. Actually, no. I, I, I know a lot of guys who love it too because it's, it is. Because they've been teenage it is, girls. <laughs> well, okay, uh, but uh, and it's it's just a, it's an underdog story. It's just about misfits uh, in high school and them, uh, you know, rising up and, and winning, beating the jerk ex boyfriend. Exactly. That's what the, me, the moral of the movie is. Like, if you've ever dated a jerk, you will like yeah. this movie, which a so lot is of people it like have. Girl power. Like it, it's a lot right? of girl power. But I wouldn't yeah. necessarily say it's just girl power. Like, it's a lot of just like if you're that loser who like wasn't cool and like society kind of told you that you kind of had to blend in a little bit that you don't and that there are people out there who are like you and who are your real friends and won't try to change you. Yeah. Shane's character tries to change her a lot during the movie. That's pretty much all I do. Oh, yeah. Shane, all he does. the bad boy That's in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you what, enjoy playing that kind of part? I actually loved it. I yeah. had a great he time. He was so good at it, it was weird. <laughs> Uh -oh. I, just I think you were meant to be this it, jerk character. It, it did come really easy. I don't know why, but because uh, he's not a jerk, as in like the regular jerk, like oh, what's up? I'm a jerk. It was it was more of an arrogance of I'm smarter than everybody around. Oh, like funny. Type of thing. And I walked around that set with that air all the time. Yes, and, he did. Uh, Method actor. <laughs> he still has it. <laughs> <laughs> it never left. I don't it know. Just stayed with it him. just it's always been there. Um, but uh, it was a very Jason Schwartzman type of character. <laughs> and, uh, I had people tell me that. Good comparison. Like, yeah, well, that's that's what I based it off of. I based yeah. it off of Rushmore. A oh lot. my gosh, yeah. oh, I cool. love it. Uh, it, was, it was an impersonation of uh, of Jason Schwartzman. Shane's yeah. very good with impersonations. I know, we <laughs> might have to do a whole segment <laughs> dedicated to that, actually. Okay. And over here, the misfit. Yes, the misfit. Talk to us about Miss Combs. Yeah, my character's name is Samantha Beauty Combs. Beauty Combs. <laughs> yeah, she is a uh, pathological liar. That uh, is so fun. Yeah, it was fun. She uh, claims that uh, P. Diddy is her father, which, um, looking right. at me, I look just like P. Diddy. You do. It's the it's eyes. It's living image. Kind yeah. of uncanny, actually. It really is. Um, <laughs> which, so, so, does everyone believe that like all of the lies? You know what's so funny what is that do you, you don't really know what lies are truths or what lies are lies. So uh, <laughs> nobody believes anything my character says, and some of it is factual. You can't. You cannot prove that I'm not related to P. Diddy. I really hope <laughs> that the end of the movie he shows up to like hand over the trophy for the Eskimo yeah. Olympics or something. And he's like, I'd like and to award this like, to my baby girl. You're like, see, <laughs> Sam. He is my daddy. <laughs> so what happened? She's with... southern all of a sudden. She oh, yeah, just right? decided. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Unlike P. Diddy. So it's what just... happens with these Eskimo Olympics? You said that, and I'm just really curious. Uh, there a lot of physicality. Uh, Dear Lemon Lima, uh, our director, Susie Unessi, did a short film uh, version, which originally had nothing to do with the Eskimo Olympics. Mm -hmm. And then she kind of researched it and found out all about these games. And it, it's very much related to uh, like tribal things that like hunting 
seals and <laughs> yeah, and frostbite and anything that you face in the and Alaskan And so there's different like, sledding and stuff like that with the dog. No, not sledding. Um, you would not believe the thing. Like uh, my character um, uh, participates in I, I, like an ear pull. Yeah. So you, what? yeah, you, it's the competitors <laughs> sit um, on the floor. <laughs> It's, are you okay? I'm are not you even like a kidding. Character? Is this like a lie? Uh, no, I'm not joking. No, this is this, this is, is, is a real thing. And we actually had someone um, who had participated in these games on set to like oversee everything. So what my character ends up doing, you put like a, a rope around my ear, and then it would be around Shane's ear, and we both have to pull. To pull it off. And so and it just it it. And that's terrible. Yeah. Because it feels like what and frostbite so would feel. Whoever like, like if, if it were to fall off of his ear. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is crazy. The games, the games know all. Yeah. Oh so if it would gosh. fall off of his, of his ear, then he would lose, and if it would fall off of my ear first, then I would lose, and so that was that like was my game. Oh, what ear. if you have a big ear? You have an unfair advantage. And well, hey, it's survival of the fittest, baby. That's true. True that. <laughs> true that. True that. Um, so Shane, true. What, what did your character have to do for uh, uh, <laughs> for the Eskimo games? Right, I had to uh, I had to do a dance. I had to do an Eskimo dance. Wow, I had to dress I would up totally completely in like this, this that. like big gigantic oh, yeah. seal skin boots, uh, like just really heavy gear. It was super hot, and then uh, then I had these like wooden goggles that have these tiny little slits in it, so I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> and they're like, now go out and dance. Was it like dropping it like it's hot, or is it something a little more? I unique? threw in a bunch of different stuff. Oh, uh, so it was like freestyle. It was a little bit of real. old school, like super old school, like Eskimo old school. I like okay. how you're pointing then, to me when you said Eskimo. No, old I was, I was pointing just back, no, like old I was school back, was back, the back there. <laughs> um, and then uh, they they didn't tell me what to do necessarily, so I just kind of, I mean, they, we had we had a guy there who kind of helped me out with a dance, like this is a traditional dance. But then they're kind of like, yeah, just just do Make some funny own. stuff in between. So I would be doing like this this regular like Eskimo dance. I don't know how it went exactly. And then all of a sudden I would just start like doing the air walk in, in the middle of it and then go it back to it. It was kind of like it. a blend of like old tradition meets new age modern <laughs> dancing. It was, like it was like Lady Gaga. It was like Lady Gaga. Exactly. Actually, the outfit kind of looked like it Lady was. Gaga. Yeah, not far <laughs> off. Um, but it was really funny because I couldn't see a thing. Well, so. it must have been pretty funny because you actually won. A Pretty amazing award. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, I won the uh, outstanding uh, performance in a in a uh, narrative feature uh, at the LA Film Festival. Big deal, uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't even know that I was up for it. <laughs> and we went for the we went to this banquet, this award banquet type of thing. And I was like, okay, it's just for the films, just for to see what wins best director, best film. And Jennifer Lawrence got up and she says, okay, now we're presenting best performance by an actor. And I was like, oh wow, hey, you know we. We could, you know, but because, I'm sure there's somebody else out there. Because at Dear Lemon Lima, it premiered at the LA Film Festival, and so all, all the films went, and uh, they were all eligible for all these categories. And uh, we, again, we're kind of the underdogs because <laughs> we're uh, we're a children's movie. We're not very depressing. We're a comedy, and we're quirky, <laughs> and so we're all sitting there in cupcake shirts because cupcakes are a huge theme in Dear Lemon Lima, as they should be in life, by the way. Generally I speaking, I agree. Um, we have some cupcakes over there, by the way, ooh, in, in our really? fridge for later. In our fridge. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yes. just so we're all sitting there and they're they're announcing all the awards and we're all together just having fun and Jennifer Lawrence comes out and just says you know out of all the films in the LA Film Festival the board voted on this comedic performance and we were all like there's another comedy in the LA Film Festival what, what? that's yeah. weird and they go uh, Shane Top for Dear Lemon Lima and Megan who's another actress in the film Megan and myself Martin. Megan Martin yeah. um, we screamed because we're loud yeah, we yeah we, which it's a banquet it's like it was, it was like so a very like small quiet professional like, oh, thing oh, 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 shut, 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 shut. did you hear your name yeah. and i kind of i kind of get up and i'm like shame. i'm like i i Tripping. sat there for like a good five seconds just kind of like so so what do I do? Do I and then they're like, oh, you go up and you give a speech. We had no <laughs> I was idea. Like, what? That like yeah. And I mean that this front table, you know, they had Melissa Leo, they and and John Voigt was there, and I was just like, I'm about to, I I don't know if I can do this, and I kind of get up and I'm like tripping over chairs, like getting up there, and I kind of get up. Just Jennifer Lawrence ha Jennifer Lawrence hands me the award, and I'm just kind of like. Uh, I didn't even know I was up for anything That's today. Funny if you think about it, Melissa and Jennifer are both nominated this year. For yeah, the another Award competition. In the same category. Weird. Uh, yeah, that's uh, crazy. If you really think about it, Shane brought them together. I did. <laughs> yeah, let's talk it's about all that. My I fault. mean, the cast of this movie that you guys did, crazy. I mean, Megan Martin, you referenced. Yeah, Megan. Melissa Leo, yeah. Leo mm -hmm. Beth Grant, She's Elaine fantastic. Hendricks. They're 
I, we have a great class. We have a Zane Hewitt plays Hercule, and yeah. it's just it's a really really and, great cast and, uh, of people. And Savannah, they cast in Alaska. Yes. She's she's oh, wow. she was in Alaska. They found her up there, and she did a great job. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that's it was, she'd never done a done a movie before. Never done ever. Oh she, my gosh. She'd never acted before, and so it was kind of just a lot of people who had acted before and then her, which is an interesting dynamic just because, you know, she's supposed to be finding her way in the movie, the character, uh -huh. and Savannah was basically trying to find her way on set. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you guys shoot and everything? Uh, Seattle. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was Looks just amazing. like Alaska. <laughs> it kind of probably does. Actually, I don't know. I've never been to Alaska. I've did never you, been. Did I've you never try been any either. whale blubber? I hear that's a common thing Shane? to eat in Alaska. Whale blubber. I don't know that it's common in Seattle. Seattle, no. <laughs> There's a lot I of coffee. Tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seattle's best, people. Just oh, saying. man. Well, you guys, thank you so much for coming by and giving thank us all the insight. Thank you for having us. us. Can't wait to see it. Dear Lemon Lima. Dear Lemon Lima. And it premieres in LA at the Culver City Plaza on oh, March, 4th. March 4th. So mm -hmm. go out and go see it. Go check it out. Awesome. Yes. Very and cool. And of course, you guys have to make sure to stick with us here at Clever TV for all the latest details. We'll have them coming at you. From Dana Ward and myself, Jocelyn Davis, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. See ya.